Hi, my name is Stephen Witkowski. I also go by the artist name Saint Stephen. I'd like to welcome you to the Berkeley Files Technical Showcase number seven, Tower Defense. This project is a music exhibit. All the programming for the Tower Defense game you are seeing now has been done in Unity and Wise prior to me receiving it as the composer. My task was to put together a horizontal score befitting the genre, gameplay, and aesthetic of the game. Before writing music, I expressed my vision to the creative director and put together initial drafts of music for the main theme, win and lose stingers, and the music intensity levels heard before allowing the first wave of enemies on a stage, as well as for those heard as the waves increase in complexity and number. There are four music intensity levels, or four of those types of compositions in total. My vision for the compositions were to create pieces at a rousing pace that is focused but isn't overly energetic, something that feels like it encompasses thinking, planning, and adapting a war or attack plan. I settled on utilizing a BPM of 140 to 160, as it seemed an appropriate place to start for low or medium intensity with higher intensities having quicker instrumentation with harder-hitting rhythms. The aesthetic of the game is futuristic, but not really dark or bright. For instrumentation, I felt the use of an orchestra with a synth lead and perhaps some electric instrument flourishes, such as an electric guitar or bass, would be appropriate. After a couple iterations and feedback, one of the things I was left with was to add a greater degree of dynamics. This is actually a healthy challenge for me, as the only way I know to do this is through a ton of automation, and given I have not written a lot of orchestral pieces previously, this pushed me to think in new ways. After an initial lengthy pass that added dynamic movement to individual parts of my orchestration, the overall sense was still that I had pieces that there was still some big picture automation needed within them. So I worked on some top level dynamics and added additional character to individual parts of the orchestration as well with tape delays, choruses, and other effects. Ultimately, the tempos used ranged from 140 to 150, and one more thing of note, if we take a look at the many channels I have going on, you'll notice shared instruments across all these tracks. I wrote all the music in one project file, so it was easier to utilize the same percussion elements, basses, synths, strings, brass, and other parts throughout the score. The audio files at the bottom are where I bounced final mixes to, as well as looped the tails of the pieces to make smooth loop transitions. Let's move into the game and take a tour, shall we? One of the aspects of this main theme I added as a late revision is the one measure drum roll buildup at the beginning. This not only served as a less abrupt introduction, but also helped establish a better loop point, as you'll hear momentarily. And there it is. Into the menu now, let's select a level. Oh, here we are. This is music intensity zero. It's zero because the actual conflict we haven't initiated yet. The instrumentation here creates a sense of anticipation and focus of what will be coming next. Let's lay down some units before letting the first wave of enemies come in. So this is music intensity one. 
The battle has begun, so we need things to ramp up a bit, but the pressure of the conflict hasn't built that much yet. Intensity 2, the thick of war. But we are playing a tower defense game, so we need the music to be a bit of fun too. We may be at war, but it is a fictional world focused on the fun of techniques. Music Intensity 3, the last set of waves on the stage. The fun intention is still there, but in the home stretch, the units are getting bigger and tougher and more numerous, so the player might be sweating just a little bit. Hey, look at that, we won! And we get a nice little jingle to let us know all is well. Let's hear the somber tone if we lose a round, however. Not such a downer that the player wouldn't want to try again, but just enough to egg them on. And that's the gist of it. Thank you for joining me for this tower defense demonstration. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't done so already, check out the Berkeley Files music playlist. And while you're at it, you can reach me with my contact information listed in the description or by visiting my website, saintstephenofficial.com. Until next time, my friends, this has been a technical showcase of the Berkeley Five.